right, so long we're getting a nigga wake up moment over there in Florida, messing around with neo Nazi governor Ron DeSantis and his anti legal immigrant policies. The Hispanic and Latino community starting to be called out for their anti black racism, as well as for conspiring with the white supremacists. And remember, 53% of Hispanic Latinos classify themselves as being white. When you're buying the white supremacy, I always said it and I'll say it again. You fuck you the fucking state of Florida. The state of Florida is becoming a fucking sundown town. You're not a straight white Christian male, and he's going for them too. Everybody's civil liberties and constitutional rights are being affected. Let me let me, let me tell you something. You guys always say it's gerrymandering and all that shit why I got elected. No. 68% of Cubans voted for DeSantis. 58% of Puerto Ricans, 53% of all Latinos voted for DeSantis. God knows how many white, ignorant motherfuckers. You bind their white supremacy, you don't care, it's not your problem yeah well you know it's the hate that hate begat there's your people of color coalition so 68 percent of cubans 58 percent of puerto ricans 53 percent of all latinos voted for ron DeSantis, and now looks like those chickens are coming home to roost right <laughs> Because you didn't mind long as they were anti-black policies. And as long as those policies were anti-black, they were pro-everybody else, right? So now it's going to be your turn to feel the burn. Let me tell you something. You guys always say it's gerrymandering and all that shit why I got elected. No. 68% of Cubans voted for DeSantis. 58% of Puerto Ricans. 53% of all Latinos voted for DeSantis. God knows how many white, ignorant motherfuckers. You bind their white supremacy. You don't care. It's not your problem. You're a fucking idiot. It is your fucking problem. White supremacy affects everybody. Not just black people, not just brown people, not just indigenous people. Everybody. Now you elected a fucking fascist in the state of Florida. Now you got to deal with your civil liberties being violated. Now you got to deal with businesses, industries being shut down because they can't find any fucking labor. And now, magically, Latinos give a fuck. And now, magically, Latinos give a fuck. Down because they can't find any fucking labor. And now, magically, Latinos give a fuck. Latinos didn't give a fuck when, when he was anti-black with his anti anti-woke policy you didn't give a fuck now that it's anti-immigration now you give a fuck and now magically latinos 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 give a fuck find any fucking labor and now magically latinos give a fuck latinos didn't give a fuck when when he was anti-black with his anti-woke policy you didn't give a fuck. Now that it's anti-immigration, now you fuck. Now that it's anti-immigration, now labor. And now, magically, Latinos give a fuck. Latinos didn't give a fuck when when he was anti-black with his anti-woke policy. You didn't give a fuck. Now that it's anti-immigration, now you give a fuck. Well, guess what? You got what you fucking voted for. You fucking idiots. Not all Cubans, Dixon. Not all Puerto Rican, Dixon. Not all white people, Dixon. I know, not all, but too fucking many. The majority of your people voted for fascism. The majority of your people voted for white supremacy. That's the fucking problem. You, you don't care. You haven't done anything to address it. Address the fucking problem. Hold your people accountable. I'm half Cuban. I know. It's in my own fucking family. Some of them. I know what it's like in the fucking Cuban community. I've seen them own fucking eyes. The other half is white. God knows the white supremacy and ignorance racially that operates in my white community. Hold your people accountable so that you don't have this kind of fucking bullshit. I'm not saying Democrats aren't racist, but fuck, man. They're not going to these extremes to normalize white supremacy and to normalize fascism, pass legislation that is directly anti-immigrant, anti-gay, anti-black and coming for every other liberty that you have. My God, people are fucking ignorant. I've always told you people, white supremacy hurts everybody. No one is free until we all are free. And there is no freedom in America until white supremacy is dismantled. What happens when you...
You know, no community issues as far as the black community goes are ever dealt with specifically with black people and black solutions in mind. We always get lumped in with the LBGTQ or illegal immigrants. And the last time I checked, LBGTQ was not a race. And there's no way us as 500 year natives to this land should share the same fate as an illegal immigrant. to the United States, but specifically Florida. Before I end this video, this has been sitting on me for the past few days. And so it's not going away, so I have to speak on it. To my Mexican brothers and sisters, I'm speaking for myself. I can't speak for the black community as a whole, but I see what is happening to your community down in Florida. I see how Ron DeSantis is treating you and devaluing you and your community. Oh, no, don't for be decades. taking for them. That's how we got here in the we first place. We have been place. calling for our Mexican brothers and sisters, our Cuban brothers and sisters, our Puerto Rican brothers and sisters to join us in the fight against white supremacy. And unfortunately, you all have ignored us. When we were out protesting, I didn't see you. While we were fighting against white supremacy and these racist systemic laws, you joined in with the white supremacists and you were racist towards black people. And yet, we still were calling for you to join us because what affects black people, we knew that it will affect people of color. And now that these white supremacists are boldly and blatantly attacking you, these racist systemic laws are affecting you, you are calling for black people to come together with you to protest. Don't be shocked if that doesn't happen. But now that your eyes have been awakened, you're late. But welcome to the part Instagram. Breaking tonight, the NAACP issuing a travel warning for the state of Florida. And this is all in response to what the group calls, quote, aggressive attempts by Governor Ron DeSantis to erase black history and to restrict diversity and inclusion programs in Florida schools. Earlier this year, DeSantis rejecting students' access to AP African American Studies in all Florida high schools. The formal travel notice states, Florida is openly hostile toward African Americans, people of color, and LGBTQ plus individuals. Before traveling to Florida, please understand that the state of Florida devalues and marginalizes the contributions of and the challenges faced by African Americans and other communities of color. Other organizations representing marginalized groups in the state, including the Florida Immigrant Coalition and the LGBTQ Civil Rights Group, have also issued similar advisories. Another thing that's bothering me is I moved my stupid ass back to Florida and they're trying to kill us here, y'all. I'm not, I'm not like people think I'm crazy, but no, I just research. I watch trends. I read books. I'm fucking smart. I'm not crazy. The NAACP just passed a fucking travel advisory that black people should no longer travel to Florida because of the brand DeSantis. Like, please, Lord, give me some reprieve. Let me at least get out of here before they start rounding us up for a Holocaust-like situation because I can't, I cannot say, like, I read that and I had a full-blown anxiety attack. Shorty, you need to get off social media looking all crazy. She's saying to me she's about to have an anxiety attack and they about to bring back the Holocaust. What you need you as a man to tell you, go somewhere, sit the fuck down and shut up or go cook something or clean something up. <laughs> Fucking Holocaust. Another thing that's bothering me is... Another thing that's bothering me is... Another thing that's bothering me is I moved my stupid ass back to Florida and they're trying to kill us here, y'all. I'm not, I'm not like people think I'm crazy, but no, I just research. I watch trends. I read books. I'm fucking smart. I'm not crazy. The NAACP just passed a fucking travel advisory that black people should no longer travel to Florida because of the brand DeSantis. Please, Lord, give me some reprieve. Let me at least get out of here before they start rounding us up for a Holocaust-like situation because I can't, I cannot say like I read that and I had a full-blown anxiety attack.
I cannot be here and I am stuck here for now. And I just I just don't know what to do anymore. Like all this is in my brain. And and it's there for a reason. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Therapy. The Florida chapter of the NAACP has asked its national board to issue a travel advisory warning black Americans not to come to the state. This is due to anti-black legislation. Lee County Chapter President James Wawako cited the feud between Ron DeSantis and the College Board over the AP African American Studies course as a cause for concern. Florida has a history of these feuds. Just last year, Florida passed the Stop Woke Act, banning critical race theory. At Palm Beach Atlantic University, a Christian school, an English professor was fired for teaching racial justice. Ron DeSantis calls this a stunt and a joke and refused to answer questions dealing with the AP African American Studies course. So if you are a black American, they are suggesting you not go to Florida. On a more serious note, the NAACP just issued a travel advisory for people to avoid Florida because of Governor DeSantis' recent policies. They issued an official statement saying that Florida has become a hostile environment for Black Americans. This follows right after Governor DeSantis signed legislation on Monday prohibiting colleges from using public funding on diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts. Damn, shorties look like all three, don't she? Diversity, inclusion, and equity.